Hey, thanks for joining me. I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. I've got my oldest son with me here. Leo, say hi. Hello, it's been a while, but I'm back. Oh, we always love to do silly Did voices. You miss me? We always love to do silly voices. We are going to look at a comic book. That I have not seen before. You, I don't even know the cover. You have no idea. Now, the thing is, you don't read comics like your daddy. Maybe you'll find interest in them as you go on, but you don't read comics, but... You like fun adventure stories and yeah. monsters and heroes and that type of stuff. So, um, Ooh, boy stuff. Boy stuff. Yeah, exactly. So I've got a book here that's really kind of it's it's a very wild comic. It's very famous for um, those of us who read comics. It's something like. 25 30 years old something like that it, it came out a long time ago and i'm just curious as to what a young boy today would think of this type of a comic seeing it for the first time here slide up a little closer to me okay um so now you know how like you've seen comic book superheroes like superman batman yeah. spider-man they're Captain all really America. huge and muscular right big, big muscles strong big. Powerful heroes, right? And Batman has it, and he doesn't even have any superpowers. No, nope. but just, um, just boomerangs that explode, and Robin, who I, I don't think most people care about. Oh, it depends Some on the people Robin. Do, but. but superheroes are usually big and strong and muscular, right? Yes. So I'm going to show you the cover to this book, and then we'll get into it. I want you to tell me what you think of this big muscular figure on the cover and then we'll look at the book on the inside ready okay what the why huh what can you even make out what we're seeing here like it looks like kazuya mishima but in rage mode and he's had way too many slaughters yes. i guess so so can you point out to me can you identify parts on this figure of what's what like okay so there's his face right this is, def this is most definitely his hair where's his shoulder i would say it's around here how about an elbow uh i would say here does he have hands He's probably like crossing, crushing someone into into a bloody pulp. Is he exploding their guts? Maybe into yeah. the <laughs> yeah. That, that's probably why there's so much blood trailing. Down. What about this thing down that's here? That's probably a guy he's already killed. Maybe. So the Prophet. comic book is called Prophet. Now he is supposed to be the good guy, and this whole book is a good story. Guy. Right. You think good guys? You think Captain America, Superman, Spider Man? He's the hero of the book. And he's crushing people to death. Well, look at what it is. I know. He doesn't even have a face. So in this book, it's Prophet, and he's fighting another character called Bloodstrike. And it's just, they've already met. This is like, this is part two. I actually don't have part one. Part one is where they met, I guess. And part one ended where they met up, and they're like, we must fight. And then now, here's the book where they're going to fight. So... <laughs> First off, I always thought this cover was crazy because it's like it's some kind of like body horror nonsense. You can't really make out what we're seeing, is he, it? He looks like a he looks like a sumo wrestler, but in all the fat is muscle and he doesn't have any arms. I mean, I guess it's so crazy. All right, let's get into the book. All right, now I want you to know if you could tell by looking at this cover who's the hero and who's the villain. I. Yeah. All I see is the guy from earlier on top, and they're falling into um, Hulk juice. Hulk juice. <laughs> so this is our guy, Prophet. So it's drawn by a guy. His name is Stephen Platt. He likes to sign his artwork um, where he just uses the first letter of his first name and then his last name. So what would that be? The first letter of his first name and then his last name. So it's Splat. Uh, it's Stephen Platt, but just the so his his name he signed his work as Splat, like blood splattering, right? Splat. Right. <laughs> anyway, so they're fighting, right? Big knife. They're I think they're in a sewer. So yeah. this is water full of turds. And Hulk juice. Don't forget Hulk juice. Hulk he, juice. It's probably Hulk turds. So this is Bloodstrike right here, and he looks like he's getting cut on the face. I guess. Is it? 
Either he's holding a sword or he's holding a shotgun. I really can't tell. Well, he's got knives or something. That's a sword. Um, there's just goo why everywhere. Does the, why does this look like a sword is just straight up like bursting, rupturing out of his hand? Uh, right? That's not even, that's not how you hold it. I, a sword, dude. I know. So they're fighting. Let's continue on to the next page. All right, so. I see it's just a, a giant blue fish and two guys, and two guys with a, with brass knuckles and a knife and this guy who looks like he's drowning who's drowning with bags. So in his what's face. going on here? I I could not tell you for the life of me. Right. So I just see this giant blue fish. There's this guy. So it's this is blood fish. strike. Yeah, it's not even a fish. And I guess his head is right here. This is supposed to be his back. Is this his head? That's well, it's like a different panel. See this right here, this whole box, this is one big long panel. That's profit on top and he's drowning him underwater. So he's like drowning. That's another panel. So then Bloodstrike kicks him right in the face. Wow. It's kind of hard to tell, right? Wow. How do you even know this? Did you I, look it I, up? Or no, no. I've just, I, Daddy's read enough comics in his life that I can kind of decipher the insanity going on here. Look at his face over here. And this is like normal for what I for what I normally <laughs> watch, and I'm and I can barely make sense. Of right. It. See, this comic it's, was it's made crazier than itself. That's not even possible. This comic was made in 1994. I was still in 11th grade in high school when this came out. So to I tell you that how long. old is it? It is. Well, trust me, your daddy's old. Um, 1994 is not that long. 1994. Years yeah, that's three decades. So anyway, kicks him in the face. Now, again, tell me what you're looking at here. What's what's going on here? Uh, pipes, and he's getting out a giant sword. What are all these things sticking out of? I don't know. Pipe. I guess he got kicked into the pipes, and he got stabbed. And now Bloodstrike is coming over to um take take his turn. On mutilating his opponent. Can you even tell what this is? I'm pretty sure that's his leg. Good, 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 good identifying. So that's a picture of Bloodstrike's face as he's screaming. It's his turn. It's his turn to to violate. The and see, opponent. this is the sword or the knife that he's carrying. You're seeing the reflection in the sword. That's what that is. So then, here's Bloodstrike. He jumps at him, and there's Prophet's face. And look right there. What is he doing? Like reaching out from under the sword? I don't even. I don't even know what I'm saying. He's throwing his knife. Oh, I see. I see how it says "woo." She's like swirling right there, so he's like throwing it. So oh. as he's jumping at him, I so thought then, he was trying to like, like, like put it around. Like I thought he was like strings, and he was like gonna poke him from the back. I don't know. I I just see things. No, terribly. that's the thing because you haven't read comics, so but that's okay. That's why I wanted to see what you thought about this because seeing this weird, wild thing. So he throws it. What do you think is going to happen when he throws it here? He's either going to deflect it or stab it. And oh my gosh, why? <laughs> right? What the hell is wow. going on here? See how it spreads across both pages? That is that is way more excessive than it needs to be for a knife. <laughs> right? Like it looks like he got hit. It looks like he threw a chainsaw. That would be awesome if like a chainsaw was like <laughs> blowing it, blood out of his But no, he's just throwing a knife the size of his head. And oh. that he just spontaneously combusts. You're right. That, that, that means on fire. Like, ah. Then, so here he is falling down. And then. I'm surprised he's not cleaving in half from, you'd, you'd, from this. You'd think he would be. So, so then exciting. there's another shot where his arms are like folded up. And I guess maybe he's got his knife stabbed in him. So what is he doing? Rip. That's like brass knuckle sword he knife. He pulled it out. He went, pulled the knife out of his guts. Now he's got a knife. I remember hearing that that if you were stabbed with a knife, it would be a bad idea to pull it out because yep. it's pl like plugging in your blood. And if you take it out, you're letting the blood still It's flow. sometimes it's worse to pull the knife out. Let's keep going. But I guess this guy's immortal, so. So... Um, I guess he's just standing here in the water. Blood loss, shock-induced hallucination. I guess he's saying that, it, the, the words are saying the prophet ran off. Oh. So, I guess Bloodstrike's got to run along through the sewers. And then, do you think he looks happy? 
No, he looks like he's about to punch the reader. It, that would be awesome if I'm he could, right? I would not be surprised if he jumped out and punched me in the face and slit my neck with the knife he still has. See, here he is going through the water, but look, there's a trail of red water. So he's following him. Really? Red water? He has blood in the water. So he's going through the tunnel, holding his own guts in. And then he's coming to the end of a and tunnel. And they're just dangling. Those are just organic ropes. Right. And then see, he's got this like bandana on his head that keeps flailing like up in the air. Look like bunny ears. And to me, those are his intestines. Yeah, right. So because he comes to the end of the tunnel. Now we have to turn the book this way. What the heck? Is that? I, I, right? So there's the end of the tunnel, but then it goes, it's like a fall all the way down to where and there's Prophet okay. down there. Is like he, he fell close? down the hole. Is he in half? I mean, he's being stabbed by something. He's got multiple stabs. So then blood strike here. He decides he wants to get him. Like there's his head. There's one of his hands down here. And then he jumps down. There's Prophet. The coloring's pretty wild, don't you think? Why is it, why is it like, glowing? Did, is, did he... It's radioactive Hulk juice water in the sewer. It's full oh. of radioactive Hulk turds. I thought he, like, tossed a matchstick, <clears throat> and that was the Hulk juice turning into red Hulk juice. Oh, that would be awesome. So Bloodstrike jumps down, right? And uh, Prophet's down here. He's, like, on the bricks. You Chopped think he's out? Do you think he's still alive? I don't know. I really don't know. He got stabbed by 50 pipes and got up, ran away like nothing happened. Well, look at this. So here comes Bloodstrike jumping down. And then Prophet, you can't really tell until you get to this panel. What did Prophet do right here? Uh, I guess he was like cradling a sword and now he's just impaled him as he was falling. It's like a giant pipe. And look, it ripped through his guts. And if that looks so weird, it looks like he's got his legs for arms or something. He looks like a giant spider and his hands look like they're hoofs. They do, right? <laughs> You're right. So <laughs> Prophet gets a pipe from out of nowhere and as he falls, stabs on it. And look at him. Here he comes sliding down the pipe. Yes. And then he's just going to deck him in the face until he's gone. And then look at this over here. So Prophet's got him stabbed. So here he is holding the, the pipe into the guy, but the blood strike grabs it and like stabs it through Prophet. So he pushes it back to stab him as well. So now they're both stuck on the pipe. <laughs> like you got the pipe and they're both, their bodies are like on it like this. And they're like, <laughs> so they can get closer to each other and fight each other with a giant pipe keeping them stuck together. Yeah, they're probably going to, they're probably just going to kiss and walk away. They might. That would solve so many more problems, right? <laughs> but isn't that they, great? They, Look at all the blood and guts. Yeah, they, they both, they both need um, open heart surgery and me, and their medical bill is going to cost over $2 trillion. Probably. So now they're stuck on the pipe. Mutilation at its finest. Look at this shot right there. Look at this giant pipe coming out of their guts all the way towards I us. I just see them kissing with the pipe impaling them both. Kissing with the pipe impalement? That could they're be. They're both going. <laughs> Look at their bloody faces. They're like, it's time. Will you not die? And he's like, okay, but on one condition. You first. And then he like. Stabs him, slashes him there. Oh, with a sword in it? It's got like a sword. It's like, you've seen Wolverine, right? Yeah. Got, this guy's got like a claws. giant knife that kind of does the same thing. It's even got the same sound effect. Snicked. That's what Wolverine's claws make. So anyway, stabs him. Pretty yeah. wild. Kind of hard to figure out what's going on by looking at it. Is he just like twirling out his guts and and like spinning it around the knife like like a fork with it? With it? With a bowl of spaghetti? I think so. His liver is going to be the meatballs. So then, now, they're just... You can't even really tell. Like, can you even tell what that is? Uh, I don't know. Prophet falling over, dude. It looks like a pile of human turd flesh. And then this is the other guy. I only know Prophet because of that goofy the hair, hair. Right? I mean, see, the pipe is still rammed through them. And some other, like, soldiers show up. And they're like... They're both unconscious and down, but they're still alive. And then I can't Ow. hardly tell. Oh, there's like the soldiers are pulling Prophet out of the whole out of the pipe and, and out of the sewer water. And they're like, 
And then, you know what? It's only 16 pages, and that's the end of the fight. That was it. That was the whole battle. Wow. It's the craziest battle you've ever seen where they're, like, stabbing each other on the pipe. Now, this comic, when it came out, for a lot of people, they loved it because it's so crazy. That's why they loved it. Not because it's, like, a really well-drawn or... It's not a well-drawn story or a real well-written story, but because it's so crazy. Like, look how big his legs are, and look how big the muscles are, and all the blood and the guts. Those and thighs. Those are thighs. Those are elephants. They basically should be, huh? So, as an example, it's pretty exciting. It's crazy. It's it's so ridiculous. It makes it fun. Kind of like the Kong versus Godzilla movie we yeah. saw. It's a movie about giant lizard and giant monkey punching each other. It's not real. And the next one is giant monkey and giant lizard punch giant lizard and giant monkey, but evil. Yes, but it's fun. With big right? bug, with big mom. So all this stuff is pretty fun. Now, to show you an example of some like regular traditional superhero comic book art. If you flip back through here, there's a couple more pages of some other stuff. There's a letters page where people will write in and, and just like write and ask questions. So there's all that. But like, look at this stuff. See, that's a more kind of standard looking superhero guy, right? It's not quite as wild and crazy and ridiculous, but is it as crazy and is it as fun in the silly way as the others, or is it more boring? It's kind of anticlimactic because, <clears throat> like, if he was, like, actually moving, it'd be cool. But since he's just standing there, yeah, it's like, are you going to do anything even though you know it's a drawing? So this is just an example of how this stuff is technically better than this stuff. But this stuff back here is just so wild and crazy. It's just, uh, it's just a whole different... But it's... The thing is that it kind of comes down to what a person's personal tastes are. What do you like? What I may like, you may not like. What you like, your your brother won't like. <coughs> That's a cover Everything for another like, book. Like. That's a cover for another book by the same artist. Like, look at this thing up close. What are all these things? I can actually tell it, and he has a sword and a machine gun that's like fire, and he's like... But is it a machine gun? It looks like a bunch of flashlights. Maybe it's just a giant gun that just shows light, or a flamethrower. Bunch of ninja stars and swords. So, and look at all these bullet casings. Way too many bullets, and way too many empty cartridges. That's true. Let's see. And then what's going on in this thing? Uh, me and the gang. Right. What is this thing he's holding here? He has a... It looks like an oxygen tank. It's like an oxygen tank, but as a gun. This guy looks like a pirate, and he is Russian. A Russian pirate. A Russian pirate. He's got goo hanging off his knife. This is a... I, this guy I, looks like he was punched in the abs five times and, and, looks his, like his, and his pants are too tight. It looks like his pecker's bulging out. That's the problem, right? Um, yeah. This guy looks like Deadpool with a monocle and only red. Yeah. And this guy looks like Superman It if he was a man baby. If he was a man baby. <laughs> I love your identification of these guys. This is great. Old Spawn action figures. Have you heard of Spawn, the character? Never heard of him? Okay, that's all right. Ne neither of the Violator, but... He's a lizard monster. He's like... A, he was a guy that... Is uh, he the Spawn of Spawn? He's the Spawn of the demons of, from hell, and he come back to, to like try and see his wife again, but he ended up being turned into like a demon from hell, and then this is a lizard creature monster to come chase him and fight him. So that's he it, my boy. people. So that is it. That is Prophet Issue 8. This is one of the most weirdly popular issues because it's so crazy. It's so silly. Um, I think the colors are nice and bright and vibrant. And it's just ridiculous. But it's it's a little bit too over the top for my personal taste. But it's pretty crazy. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. So anyway, that's enough. There's not too much to it, right? It's just basically one big bloody fight for like 16 pages and then it's done. So there's not much to it, but I wanted to sit down and see what you would think of it as we looked through it for the first time for you. I think it's pretty cool. However, it's it's a, 
I can never tell what's happening half of the time. Either it could be extremely weird or extremely cool, but all the time it's extremely crazy. Yep. That's... And it's just these two guys beating each other up in the most anticlimactic and expected way, but it but with a bit of spice. But the bit of spice. I love the way you analyze these things. This is great. So I guess that's all for now. Yeah, it's like sword to through the face, throw the knife, get stabbed, they're both stabbed. They're both bleeding messes. Why was why was blood strike cleaved in half by just because Prophet had yeeted that knife? Yeah. Either that knife is God in a disguise, or Prophet a th or Prophet threw that thing like a five million year year old being hucking a baseball. Wow. <laughs> you should write comics. All right, my son. That's Champion it. Should be an immortal being chucking a baseball. You're right. At someone, and they and they literally cease to exist from both history, present, and, and future. Well, you should write that comic. That sounds like a fun story. Okay. It's gonna be two pages, but. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I got for now. So, Leo, thanks for joining me this time. All right. And uh, we'll do it again sometime soon. All right. Yippee! All right. All right thanks. Bye. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.